first question is, could you briefly introduce yourself and express protocol? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a pleasure to come back to, like, so, and it's a great blockchain week. So I'm Leo, the Access Protocol API Lead. So like my 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 connecting with all the signs of the relationship like in the API regions and also across as well. So for Access, if someone don't know what I say, it is actually the largest taxation layer of Solana with more than eight millions of USD of the subscription base on the chain and supporting the GP creators right now to build a close relationship between the creators and also the subscribers. And right now, we're also building a new platform called Access Intelligence, which users can create their own agent without any coding knowledge in yeah. under five minutes. And also, we can also allow creators to launch their own token as well. So using the mechanism of proof of audience. So this is actually better than just launching a token out of nowhere. It's actually based on you have some audience, you have some support, and you can launch your token. And you recently launched Yes. And said, yes. So what motivates this change? Oh yeah, actually a lot of people also will, will be curious, like why we change, like we pivot from like creators to AI agents. I think like we are doing in both sides. So we still see creators as a very important aspect we're doing. But at the same time, we see like AI will be the major consumer in the next five years. So that's why when we build like as an intelligence, we also name it as try intelligence, which means everyone can try to build your own intelligence without any like knowledge for coding as well. So it's very simple, like because we have a broad range of the media partner, a, also the top tier one as well, like Blob Media, ConGecko, Woo, Woo Blockchain. So it's very important to consolidate those of the trusted sources into the agents that can make automations for the audience. Instead of you are asking ChatGPT, those like data could be wrong, outdated, and it may not give you the most feedback from the what blockchain is right now doing. But if we get all the sources from our top tier partners and you can combine it into your own agents, so it makes sure that what you're getting is, to, is the most accurate one. And you can also, the agents will be based on what you love, like your habit, what you're following. And like every day, they can also give some automation for what you need to read and what you need to follow as well. So that's major of what we build the AI agents. And for creator token is we see like how we want to expand the power of creators. It's also through their own tokens. So that's why a lot of our creators are being very successful, have a lot of fans. So why don't they have a fans fund? So we allow them to just easily create their own tokens, like without any like uh, knowledge of launch chat as well. So just make one one click, and we will just have a mechanism to see whether you have uh, have reached the, like the super threshold for how many subscribers, how many stake you have, and then you can launch a token on Radium. So it's also very seamless, and right now the feedback is very good too. So it has been several months since the launch of the XSC. Yes. So can you share us some performance numbers? Of okay. Cool, cool, yeah. I think the hype is, has been quite crazy. Like when we launched the uh, Access Intelligence, our ACS token also pumped for like 200%. And like a lot of the Koreans also love like trading ACS token as well. So I think for the Access Intelligence part, right now we are still on the building phase. So a lot of stuff are still like, uh, like, like puzzle and we want to keep on improving as well. So like on the agent side, we are seeing how we can incorporate that into the on-chain stuff from only like a data source, getting information to letting like an automation on, on chain, like connect your wallet. And also for the creator tokens, I think right now we have more than a hundred tokens being like launched. Yeah. And we we want to launch it like by like a schedule, not launch everything at once. But maybe one day we, we can launch five tokens and also we will give more spotlight to those tokens as well. So yeah, we are trying a different model and trying to hope to get a better success for our creators too. Then it was uh, indeed, indeed. Any insights or unexpected results from the use case? You mean for the which kind of the usage data? Yeah. Maybe from yeah, I, I, I think like we have like several tokens also being quite successful. Like the, I think majorly the, the the market cap right now for the tokens are trading around like fifty k to uh uh one hundred fifty k something like that. So we are finding the ways how to keep on boosting our creators' tokens to have a better exposures. So um, I believe it's, it will become a new trend because why we use proof of audience is we see a lot of tokens being failed once they launch because it's only being a gameplay for, for, like for the snipers, for the whales. So people just drop by like in the first second or first 10 seconds and it will just crash after like uh, maybe like several minutes as well. But if you have a proof of audience, that's mean that you have a base of the supporters and like those supporters, you will keep on like having your token as well. Like the, um, 
the top tiers, like of the like the tokenomics of the creator tokens, we said. 10% will be left for the airdrop for your own supporters. And then there's like 25% is also reserved for the creators to have an ongoing two year fasting. You keep on getting back your own token. So you can like utilize how you want to use the token. Can we do more airdrop, giveaway event? So we give more like utilities for the token itself. Creators can really use their. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like like some of the creators they use like when you hold my token, I'll give you some ex exclusive art or exclusive art code alpha. So this can form a better like a closer bonding, and it can also help people to expand their exposure through the coins. So some maybe they are art artists, but they may limit it to the art circle. But right now they have a coin, so people will, will know about they are actually doing art by the coin as well. So it's actually like a win-win solution for the creators right now. So Paul sell. AI intelligence and points yes. automatically and all the reaching for the ticket, the teacher, the creator fan token. Yeah, yeah, like we are actually we're going to combine all three into one. It's like a access like an access studio. So because right now we have we have like the intelligent launch pad. So we know that it's quite like uh, being given places as well. So once we have combined all at once, so creator and can actually manage the coin like through the one one page. And everyone can also launch or stack into their tokens or just uh, put their own agents in the one platform as well. And what is the ultimate vision that? Um... Yeah, that's a good question. So I think like on chain is definitely the stuff that we want to achieve. Like how we can use the data right now we have on the, on the top top data. Like maybe they will give some out of like you must buy the Esther token like today, and it can actually manage for your your wallet and also can buy for you or you have some idea like I'm a creator, I want to launch a token as well. So maybe I follow a trend and I know like maybe this week is about animal. So I can, the agents can remind me and then I can launch a token on the same platform about some animal tokens or so. So that's how we want the future would be. And automation is also one of the big key features. We don't want like you have to ask ChatGPT and you give me an answer. We want actually the, the bot or the agents can give you what you need to know by itself, by learning your own pattern, learning your habit. Yes. And access pro for Yes, indeed. So how do you learn trend? And what is the philosophy behind the problem? Yeah, I think like we have been in Solana for two years and we keep on loving Solana as well. Like so Solana, the community is so vibrant and it's keep on growing, growing bigger. Like the own stuff is also being crazy. And I really love that how Solana is being incorporated into a lot of the uh, in real life, like the use space, like the stable coin, and also how they like monetize like people from the web two to web three very seamlessly. Like one of the features we have is you can connect your wallet via tip link. So tip link is one of the features from like Solana. So that means you can create your own wallet, the Solana wallet, without any wallet by, by only using your Gmail as well. So if you don't have a Gmail, you can connect it and it can generate you a Solana address, Solana wallet, and you can start using it. So I think Solana, the support is being crazy. And also like we are on the Sega phone airdrop at the first beginning. So yeah, that's why we got a lot of the Solana support with the Solana Foundation and also with the whole community. So you have no, no plans for like... Um, yeah, right now we still love like Solana the most, but maybe, yeah, maybe we will do cross training in the future. <laughs> and how do, how do you envision your traders using SS protocol in the future? And what is the ecosystem? Yeah, I think for creators, we are keep on like educating them the ideas for and also what is creator coin as well. So as you know, like a lot of creators, they actually only focus on drawing, painting in the whole life. They actually don't know what it's like referee or like on chain stuff. So we are like actually actually have a mode uh, have a vision. Actually, we also keep on bringing more people from rep two to rep three through our platforms and also keep on like educating them what we are what we are doing. So I think like we have, we are in a good step. Like we have 250k active sub subscribers, and it keep on growing as well. So and then our final vision. I think we don't have a final vision, but we keep on growing and see how the like the world is also being developing. But at least like in the next six months or twelve uh, or one one year, we really see ourselves will be a studio that incorporate all of the web two creators, web two artists, web two writers into our own platforms, and they can do everything that, that they want. They can publish their own things. They can create like they, they can mint and and NFT write articles. They can create their own coins or create their agents. So all based on the stuff. And right now, like on the agent stuff, we only have the top source, right? But we want to incorporate the social data like the exchange announcement and also with the what 
the creators are building as well. So very soon, those sauce will be a very like um, variable sauce. Uh, so even the creators itself, it can, I can also put the sauces there and people can subscribe to use that for the agents. And about the player, can you just add any? All of the best creators we not play at all in your like creators mm -hmm. Maybe Korean users can easily understand. Okay, okay. I think like for access, like we like the best thing is of course our hub. So a lot of the artists are actually earning like more more than a thousand USD just only for our like platforms. So they actually what they do is only okay, this is a fan base. So I no need to have a schedule when I want to post stuff, when I want to release the things. The fans will support me whatever I post. I can support some behind the scenes as well. Like if I if I'm a comic like art artist, I can just put some draft and people will love it. And what they support me is fast staking. It's not by paying. So this a major difference between the web two. Like you have to buy a comic book, you have to buy to support someone. So you're spending money. But right now you're staking. So you are earning a high yield from us. Like access, we are like a 50% yield, like APY, and you are earning daily. While you are also earning what you want from the, your favorite creators. So that's the best thing. Like for you and like the communities or the creators should also join us. So lastly, do you have a message like to share with Korea? I think like to like to Korean market has been keep on going like super crazy and super more important as well, especially on the trader side. Yeah, I yeah I, I feel so I feel so yeah. So I think like um like ACS we are list on update we are list on Bitcoin. That means we are being recognized by a lot of the authority like levels. We are also on Coinbase. So yeah, I, I would love to see like more more like Koreans holding our ACS token and we will keep on giving more like utilities, giving more like powers for the Korean community as well. So yeah, super looking forward to get more of the worldwide people to join Access and try our own new stuff. Do you yeah. have any other plan for the market or any roadmap? Mm. I think like Korean market is always tough to like get into, especially like I I don't know like like how to speak Korean. But like I like very glad, but like we have Block Media as our like major partner. So yeah, we love to do more stuff with like Block Media and see how to expand access power in this Korean market. Thank you. Okay.